Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Dratlord44. Uh, I am going to be today talking about uh, Sayaka Mayagochi and of course uh, Goyuki as well there afterwards. Uh, so yes, yeah, so uh, just to sort of like get into it really, uh, obviously shoot the, the guy uh, outside of the door, fairly obvious. Uh, I use uh, Steel Talisman and Power Pill um, and then I equip Poison as well then uh, to sort of get into the fight. Now, in a moment, it'll go through just the uh, little trailer part, which uh, I always do like in the game. I think it's a really, really good little feature. Nice that you've got your uh, costume on there as well, so always uh, decent. Um, I'll let that play, and then we'll continue from there and go through uh, the guide of what to do. Okay, so with Sayaka, one thing that uh, I have to say did catch me out a few times uh, was simply the fact that he was different from the, how he was in the first Neo. Not in every way, he's still quick, he still fires, but he did have some other attacks that I wasn't expecting and it took me a little while to adapt. Now the reason I brought in the AI is just as a distraction, uh, I find it useful sometimes uh, just to do that um, and it gives you a chance then just to make sure that you're not always the one being constantly pressured uh, into doing this. Now one thing I noticed with him is, is that he seemed to um, take poison uh, and take the damage I don't know whether that's because my accumulation is really high and it gives me a good percentage but it's well worth uh, bearing in mind. Now usually when he goes into the air you can shoot him. Um, something I found was a little bit more difficult with that because he seemed a little bit quicker than he did in the first and that fire attack is one that I definitely would say to try and just dodge and avoid. Now I use the pillars quite a lot during this battle um, to sort of try and actually beat him. Um, and what I find is is that yeah he is very very quick um, and he will do some pretty damaging attacks so with this one I mean okay if you are bringing in the AI uh, don't blame you uh, just do it um, it's one of those things uh, if you want to do it on your own which obviously I always prefer personally but sometimes on the odd occasion you get frustrated and then you think well okay I'm gonna you know bring in the AI and it'll help um, just ease off that pressure now You'll get a tale of two sides with this guy because you'll actually see me um, fighting on my own in just a sec. Because, surprisingly enough, he has a thing where he warps around, knocks your lock off, which is irritating, and then he'll throw a bomb down for a big ton of damage. As you can see there, he killed my AI guy. The three shots, easy to dodge. As I said, use the pillars for cover. Um, when he comes swiping at you, yeah, if you can attack him, great. If not, just make sure you can avoid those flames because they will do a lot of damage. Now as you can see with him, I literally have gone into my Guardian. Uh, this was literally to try and finish him off. It didn't actually totally kill him. Um, and as I said, my lock kept on removing which was kind of frustrating uh, to be honest. But that's one of those things because he teleports around, he's able to do that. Now I would always recommend a lot of guarding um, to dodge that flame attack because that's a new thing I can't remember him having in the other one. Um, and literally with this guy it is very much a case of just being a bit patient, using the pillars to heal up, uh, dodging those fire attacks. I did try and shoot him once actually but uh, unfortunately I didn't quite get to knock him down um, and it was just literally just trying to get that moment there where you can just sort of step and, and dodge those bullets. Ah, there we go. Now, I tried to shoot him to knock him down because you can shoot a human. Unfortunately, this is what normally happens where he then shoots and it's a bit of a pain. He's not the most difficult boss ever, but he's very speedy. Uh, he's, the flames can be very, very pressurized, especially when he starts doing it twice. This was kind of something that I'd not seen and they all start firing at you, plus he's shooting at you. So it, it is definitely wise to use the cover of the pillars as you can see I use that to stop him shooting me heal up and then I can get the hell out of there and it's just really just things like you know just sidestepping 
uh, blocking of course like every boss blocking is always a thing dodging that big flame attack as always is a good idea and just pretty much using the timing of just what you see just to um, do that now you can see he'll always fire three shots there he'll do a swipe and I should be able to finish him off now pretty much uh, I use Yatsu to finish him off um, like anything with this boss it, it is just a lot a lot of things where you just have to kind of just bear in mind that he can do a lot of damage to you it can be very very scary um, but you know he's not too bad and like I say um, it's just a lot of patience so that's that one um, the next one of course I'll be going on to um, is Gaiyuki and I'll be going through the guide with him as well now he's a different concept he's got definitely weaknesses and things so I'll go through that in just a sec Okay, so with Gonyuki, uh, after you get the key from Sayaka, you'll run out, you'll talk to uh, Hanbai, I believe his name is. Um, he'll give you actually a medicine pill box. Pretty handy to actually equip, it's very useful for this fight and, and actually useful, um, you know, anyway. So well worth uh, taking a look at. Uh, you'll go through the gate, you'll do a couple of things and you'll run eventually to this bit here. Now again with this one, I'm going to use Carnage, uh, Power Pill and um, Steel Talisman. And then literally I will slot him, um, use Weakness as well uh, on him also just to try and, you know, reduce his base attack. Now, as you can see there, uh, he's one of those bosses where literally he is a big spider bull boss guy. And yeah, um, <clears throat> he does a lot of damage. He does um, these poison clouds, which is definitely not uh, something you want to get stuck on. And he'll do that charge. Now, the weakness is those legs at the back. But he also has a big weakness is that you can run underneath him uh, very much. And he can't seem to see you. Now, he will do stomps, so you've got to roll out the way when you can. Um, and you've got to do the damage when you can to those legs. Now, sometimes you're going to miss and sometimes you're going to get damaged. Um, when he does the big swipe, roll out the way, again, advantage of, I suppose, sloth is useful. Um, and, yeah, again, poison clouds. The charge is one of those ones that I would recommend to burst counter it, always. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't because this was the second time I pulled the boss. Um, <coughs> Okay, so getting underneath him uh, naturally is a big, big key thing here. Uh, as you can see, I can do quite a lot of damage. He can't seem to see me. Now, when he takes you into the dark realm, you can see now suddenly he has wings, which is just great. Um, so, yeah, a flying all spider boss. Just awesome. And as you can see, that does a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, he's got poisoned as well, which is uh, never good. So I definitely keep antidotes on hand. Um, you can see it does a quite a fair chunk of damage. Um, I literally found that the burst countering thing, I, I didn't really use it, but I literally went for the going underneath him and just picking those weak points of the legs as much as I possibly could. Now he's a boss that, you know, he can be very tricky if you don't know what you're doing against him. And this is one of the key things. So, as you can see, I mean, like, I'm rolling underneath, I'm trying to avoid his sight trying to do damage um, as I can and chipping away at those legs. Um, at some point he staggers, but for some reason it wouldn't let me grapple when he did. I don't know why uh, it wouldn't do that, but anyway, now he takes me out of the dark realm. Now he does keep, actually interestingly, his wings, um, and he knocks quite hard. Uh, so I definitely recommend avoiding it or first countering that 100%. Now, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to slot him again, just to try and give me that little bit of speed advantage. Does a big swipe, you can roll forward out the way, um, and literally then roll underneath him, like I said. And this this really is a definite weakness of this particular boss. Now, as you can see there, it didn't let me grapple for some reason. Uh, I pressed triangle to do it, and it didn't work, so not sure what I want. But yeah, as you can see then, you really want to kind of just take the, the legs as much as you can. Avoid that big jumping stomp, because that won't do damage. 
um, and then literally yeah I mean I use Yatsu just to try and get a bit of damage to be honest um, again Yatsu probably not the best one but for my overall build at the moment I've got no other uh, sort of like uh, yokai ability that I want to use um, literally with this guy he's not the quickest he can do a lot of damage though, as you can see he definitely does a lot of damage luckily I managed to get out of the way of that one and then again it'll be rinse and repeat to run underneath him um, and literally this is all you do uh, this is how you beat him you just literally roll underneath and then just keep swiping away and doing as much damage as you can now the camera does go a little bit funny at times and, and this is because you're underneath him I suppose but you can see the damage I managed to cause definitely avoid that poison cloud avoid that discharge first counter like I said and then run underneath and continue doing damage now as you can see there uh, literally, I mean, killed him. Uh, what I'll do is I'll go into my guardian then, um, and just literally finish him off with all the extra damage. As you can see, it's not the most complicated boss. It's just knowing the the dynamics. I do believe you can go on onto the platforms and you can shoot him from above, um, and there's a couple of other things as well. But mainly that's the kind of idea. You can finish him then with a the guardian, and of course he's finished. And that is him. So hopefully that was uh, helpful with those two. I mean, again, I know a lot of people probably have done these already, but, you know, there's a lot of people out there that probably haven't. So uh, if you do watch my guide and, and find this useful, uh, then by all means uh, drop me a like or, or comment below is always helpful. You know, all the usual stuff. Um, and that is it for me. I will be doing, of course, future videos. So um, do keep a lookout. But otherwise, that is everything for me today. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you're having a great rest of the day. Alright, all the best. Take care. Bye now.